Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful flower square. It's super fun and easy to make and you can use this square for many things. You can use for garment, accessories, home decor and many more. For this flower square, I use three colors of Alice Bella yarn. It is number two spot weight yarn. I'm going to use this to be my color A, color B and color C. And I use a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. First, make slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make slip knot. Then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch into the first chain that you made right here. Insert the hook. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop and pull it through. And now I have a circle. Now chain four. The first three chains count as one double crochet. And then the fourth chain there count as one chain space. Then make one double crochet into this same circle space. And then chain one. Okay, I gonna repeating this. I gonna make a double crochet and then chain one, and then repeat double crochet and then chain one. Keep repeating that until I have twelve stitches. So so far I have two stitches. Okay, so after I chain one here, I gonna make one double crochet. I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same circle space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. Yarn over pull through two loops and then chain one. Then repeat double crochet into the same space and then chain one. I'm gonna keep repeating this until I have 12 stitches total. Okay, at the end, don't forget to chain one after you make the last double crochet. And then we're gonna end the round with slip stitch into the third chain at the beginning insert the hook into the third chain yarn over hook pull up a loop and then pull it through round one is complete and i have 12 stitches and then 12 chain one spaces around then after that i'm gonna cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later then pull the yarn out Round two, I bring my color B. You can add a new yarn, any chain one space you prefer. I just gonna insert my hook right here. Then I bring the new yarn, I hold it on the back, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and then I gonna make a beginning cluster stitch. So I gonna chain three. And then I yarn over hook, Insert the hook into the same space, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I have four loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete the beginning cluster stitch. The chain one there doesn't count as chain one space. All right, and now I'm gonna chain two. Then I'm gonna make cluster stitch into the next chain one space. I yarn over my hook and then insert the hook into the next space, yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops. We're gonna do that total of four times into the same space. This is my first time. Do the same. Oops, here's two, three, four. Then I have five loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete the cluster stitch. 
All right, I can now repeat this around. So I chain two and then make cluster stitch into the next chain one space. Do the same, I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. And I'm gonna do that four times. This is my first time. I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. And now I have five loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. So when I yarn over my hook, I turn the tip of my hook down a little bit. So that way it's easier to pull through all the loops on the hook, like that. Okay. Then chain one to complete the cluster stitch. And I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna show you one more time. I chain two. Then make cluster stitch into the next space. Do the same. I have five loops on my hook here. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this around. You're gonna chain two and then make cluster stitch into the next chain one space and then chain two, cluster stitch into the next chain one space, repeating that around. After you make the last cluster stitch, you're gonna chain two, okay? Then you're gonna finish the round with slip stitch into the top of the beginning cluster stitch right here insert the hook there yarn over hook pull up a loop and then pull it through round two is complete and i have 12 cluster stitches around then cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later and now the final round I use my color C. Add a new yarn, any chain tool space you prefer. So I'm gonna insert my hook right here. I bring my new yarn and hold it on the back, yarn over hook, pull up a loop. You can add a new yarn, any method you prefer. Then I'm gonna chain three. Count as one double crochet. Then I'm gonna make two double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet all into the same space. It's gonna be the corner. So I make two double crochet first, and then I chain two, and then make three more double crochet into the same space. Okay, into the next chain two space, make three half double crochet. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next space, yarn over pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is a half double crochet. So you need three half double crochet into that space. Okay, then make three half double crochet into the next space. Then into the next space, it's gonna be the corner. You're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet all into the next space. Okay, then into the next space, make three half double crochet. That's one, two, three. And then make three half double crochet into the next space.
and the next space is gonna be the corner. You're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet all into the next space. So here's one, two, three, then chain two, then three more double crochet into the same space. Here's one, two, three. And then make three half double crochet into the next space. One, two, three. Three half double crochet into the next space. One, two, three. Into the next space is going to be the corner. Make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet all into the next space. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then chain two and then three more into the same space. One, two, three. Next space, make three half double crochet. One, two, three. Next space, which is the last space, make three half double crochet. One, two, and three. And now I have a beautiful flower square. Next, you're gonna cut a yarn and weave the end. You can also make a slip stitch into the third chain here and then weave the end. But for me, I like to make a invisible join and I will show you how I do it. So first, I cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail and then pull the yarn out. Then I'm gonna bring my yarn needle I insert the tail into my yarn needle and then I'm gonna skip that third chain. Remember the first three chain count as one double crochet. Okay, so I skip that third chain, then insert my needle into the next stitch and then pull through. Then I'm gonna insert my needle back into the last half double crochet that I made right here, right at the middle part. And then bring it in, in the back like that. See, I just create a new stitch. That's why I skip the third chain. Very nice and smooth finish. And now I'm just gonna weave all the ends and I'm done with this flower square. I think it's so beautiful and you can use this square for many things. I would like to know what you're gonna use this beautiful flower square for. Please let me know in the comment below. I hope you enjoy and I will see you next video. Bye bye.